Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and today I'm at Ultimate Gardens because it's the beginning of their snowdrop week. Now every year they have a wonderful snowdrop week so I really do encourage anyone who's in the neighbourhood to come along and have a look. But today I'm going to show you the plant sales in Ultimate Gardens because we covered the snowdrop week last, last year and I'll put a link to that up above. So come on, let's have a look at the beautiful, beautiful plants they have for sale. In spring, gardeners in the know head to Altamont Gardens. Not just to see the fantastic snowdrop display in their snowdrop week, but to get first pick of the fantastic spring bulbs for sale there. Well, snowdrop week is of particular interest to galantophiles. Now these people may look like ordinary human beings to you and me, but once the snowdrop craze takes hold of them, my goodness, there is no knowing what these galantophiles may do. So, whereas snowdrops can seem all the same to you and me, look, little markings of green and mostly white, but to a true galantophile, they know the exact differences between each and every one. They recognise the different green markings on each and every snowdrop and can identify them all. On no two snowdrops, different types have the same markings. And did you know that a single snowdrop bulb can sell for as much as 200 euros? Oh, fantastic. It's Daphne Jacqueline Postel, the one I have in my garden. And oh, this scent is absolutely, absolutely divine. So here we are at Ultimate Gardens in the plant sales. And I'm going to take you for a little look at what they have here. Of course, hellebores are de rigueur at the moment, very seasonal. And the doubles are just gorgeous, look at that. The only problem is they hang down. Some of them have the most gorgeous markings. Yellow hellebores were really fashionable last year, but I don't see them here this year. I guess that's the nature of fashion. I have one of those. There are lots of snowdrops too. Wow. What's this? Starling. Now here's Brenda Troil, which I got last year. A lovely Irish one. Oh, the tree ferns. Does anybody remember my sad story of them? I lost my bad winters. And lots of cyclamen combs, the spring flowering one. Spring aconites and cute little tulips 
and the reticulata irises are just fantastic, aren't they? Such a vibrant blue. They've got these arranged nicely with the blue against the pink against the yellow. And Hamamelis, or witch hazel, is gorgeous now. The scent is fantastic. <laughs>